Hello everyone and welcome back. I wanted to put a video out there, uh, all of you guys that follow both the Jones Act Survival Channel and the Northern Seclusion Channel, you all know that uh, my girlfriend Melissa lives in, down in Louisiana and with all the flooding going down in Louisiana everybody's wondering how she's doing. She was a, lives in uh, Ascension Parish in the town of Sorrento which was one of the hardest hit areas for flooding. It's an absolute mess down there. I was supposed to fly down there. I was supposed to be down there right now. I had that trip, the tickets paid for for over a month. I was going to fly down last Thursday, come back next Monday. And, you know, she got a hold of me the one day on her way to work, and she's just walking from the, the, the house to the, to the vehicle. She got drenched. It was just raining, and that rain just didn't stop. It just kept raining and raining and raining. And you guys, if you watch the news, you know the rest of the story. I mean, they had a levee that broke there, and the water all rushed into the Gulf, and it can't get out there fast enough, so it all backs up. Anyway, she got flooded really bad. Uh, in fact, here, I've got some pictures. When the water first started coming up, I mean, they did everything. You know, like, I, I've got the, the bigger boat down there. They, they tied that off to uh, the horse trailer. And um, later on in, in some pictures, you'll see that the, the boat actually completely floated and, and came back down again. But in these pictures, you'll see, I mean, just when the water just started to come up in the yard and then also in the driveway. And it just, I mean, this was just a matter of in like an hour, the water would come up. It came up so fast. So as that water is coming up, if you guys watch um, both channels, and you know she's got had over a hundred chickens, um, she has lots of cats. She, you know she's really an animal lover, and she doesn't never lets a stray go away. She'll feed them. Anyway, they were waiting for um, Department of Homeland Security were supposed to come out and rescue the chickens, but the water come up so fast that they never made it. So they had to take the chickens and then her and her son Brandon and they put them up on top of the uh, chicken cages that you've seen in videos that I built you know I don't know when it was a couple of years ago and they pretty much had to fend for themselves they had little chickens um, that she took out and put into the pee row and tied that off so it could float in the yard and put food and water in there and then they had to grab the, the cats the ones that could catch outside and bring them to a shelter and then she had her inside dogs and you know a couple of inside cats only that she took with her and anyway, the water come up so fast, she got away with, you know, she had a, her work clothes and just like, just a couple sets of clothes is all they could get. You know, there was just nothing, there was just no time. The water came up so fast. So the water kept rising and kept rising and, and, you know, they got out of there. She had to actually stay at her mom's house for for a few days and um, the water at one time came all the way up to the overhang or the eave on the carport and now this video her son Melissa's son Brandon took and this was um, two days ago now and the water had already dropped four feet so you can see it was all the way up to the eaves it had already dropped about four feet and you can see just how high that water was So now today was the first day that the water was actually out of the house. So, I mean, to walk to the house, it was still over the top of her knees, but she could get in the house and there wasn't water standing in the house. I mean, the water came way up, way up in the house. And I've got some pictures here that we were taken today, and you can see, I mean, everything is such a mess. I mean, everything is a loss in there. I mean, it, it, like things that were in one room ended up in another room. Dressers tipped over. Um, the kitchen chair is tipped over, one of the beds collapsed, and it's just, it's just, a, and it's a nightmare is what it is.
okay, so you can't see super good in those pictures, but you can see that everything is a mess. Everything will have to come out. The beds are ruined, the dressers are ruined. Everything inside that house is basically ruined. Even, you know, the vacuum cleaner was put up on top of the nightstand, and uh, the water went way above that. So that shot, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just a mess. So anyway, I, I posted some of those pictures on the Jones Axe Survival Facebook, and people were wondering how they could help. And uh, there were several suggestions in there that I asked for it to get, and, and the GoFundMe thing came up. In fact, Zachary's um, girlfriend, Samantha, had said, you should start a GoFundMe page. So I, I messaged her back and asked if she could set that up for me. So uh, Zachary and Samantha set up the GoFundMe for Melissa, and uh, that link will be during this video here. You'll be able to click on it. It'll also be in the description. So if anybody can help, we've already got some donations to cover some of the stuff on the inside of the house. I mean, I mean, there are, you know, literally thousands and thousands of people down there that are displaced, that need help. All I can do myself is, is help the one that I love, which is Melissa. So I'm, I mean, I'll be down there putting time in and, and fixing the house and everything, but that all takes money to do it. So if you can help, you know, people were asking, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, you know, if you can't, just, you know, keep everybody in your prayers. But I wanted to get this video posted, so if you can help, there is a way to help. So, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I am going to be going down there this coming Thursday, because now there will be a place to stay, hopefully, if electricity gets turned back on in the house. And we can start doing some work on it, getting everything gutted out and dried out, and I will be doing videos on that also. I'm going to post this video on Jones Act Survival and on Northern Seclusion so everybody that, you know, can see it. So if, if, if you guys get a double, you know, on both, just, you know, bear with me. So, um, you know, thanks a lot, and I will see you guys on the next video.